offered me $2,500. That's a lot of money back then. It was in the 90s. Could you use that? Can, can, you, can we break a story with you? What story you want? We want to talk about Hammer and his finances. What's going on with you? Hammer. I said, can I get back to you? Get back. Call my mom. Call my big bro. He's a, you know, he's a little minister. And I talked to him and I said, what y'all think? And they said, well, would you want, if they have, would you want them to do that to you? No. I know you're upset with him. I know you guys are going through it. You're a black man. You want to tear him down like that? You tear him down like that, you might never get anything resolved because then you have animosity with each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when they call me back and they ask me, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't want to do it, but I turned it down. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. It was, got rid of so. Told. Told it. Told it. Sold the information. Yes, sold the information. So when that happened, they called me and said, hey, this guy's my witness. Put my hand on the Bible. Entertainment Tonight called me. I'm broke. Offered me $2,500. That's a lot of money back then. It was in the 90s. Could you use that? Can, can, you, can we break a story with you? What story do you want? We want to talk about Hammer and his finances. What's going on with you? Hammer. I said, can I get back to you? Get back. Call my mom. Call my big bro. He's a, you know, he's a little minister. And I talked to them and I said, what y'all think? And they said, well, would you want, if they have, would you want them to do that to you? No. I know you're upset with them. I know you guys are going through it. You're a black man. You want to tear him down like that? You tear him down like that, you might never get anything resolved because then you have animosity with each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when they call me back and they ask me, I ain't going to lie, I didn't want to do it. But I turned it down. And sometimes I go, dang, what I do? But I did it because I felt like that was wrong. I felt like, you know, that's dirt that me and him need to settle. I don't need to sell him out like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I had things that I did that I don't want him to tell about. You know what I'm saying? So why would I want to do that to him? And that's what's wrong today. We sell out for a dollar quick. Just real quick. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We, we'll sell each other, you know, and this is why it's hard sometimes when you're an entertainer. People will be like, don't take a picture of me. Don't do this. Don't do that. Ooh, who you with? Who, you know what I'm saying? You make sure I know who's in my house because you just don't, you can't trust people sometimes because people come and they act like they want to be your best friend. So everything in the tabloids and in the blogs is not always false. No, some of it is. I mean, this is what my mom likes to say. Some of it's true, but with disrespectful. Some of it, my mother likes to say this. A little true in it. It's a lie, but there is a little true in it. That's what the devil does. He tell you this, put a little, put a little, put a little truth in it, but the rest is a lie. Some of it is, some of it, some of it is true. Some of it, some of it, some people do, some do people do take when they become famous. You know, they 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 um they think it's like a birthright for them. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, and then and then they start acting on it. But if you notice, everyone has done that. What happens? I like to say, oh, fall down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And fall down because you got to realize that and I really feel like a lot of those people have been covered by God sometimes. No, I think the difference is um, in society now, back then, you know, when people had, yes, got some columns and all of that, they didn't, they pick and choose who they want to get information from. So they had like a few people. Now that we have social media and everybody's putting information out there and everybody has a voice. And even if they're not on a podcast or on a blog, they have their own social media that they can go out online and put whatever they seen or whatever. They took a video or they're just talking. And that video, as much as they might only have a uh, hundred followers can still go viral to 10 million people. So that's the difference between back then people were talking in the backyard back then when now people are talking on social media. So it's like everybody see it compared to back then it's just whoever was sitting in that yard that day would hear about it or see it. Well, but then you also realize that there were people back then that befriended entertainers just so they could do that. 
Really? Just so that they could sell the story. Mm. Just so that they could be like, well, I know them and I know this is that. Everybody, I mean, you know, what gets me is now with the, the way Facebook and uh, Instagram is. You ever notice when people die, people like to run and be the first one to tell mm-hmm, you that they, they died. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I know this is wrong for me to think, but, and I always wonder like, you know how they always come up with a picture with the people like with them? And I always wonder, like, did you ever give it to them when they was alive? Like, did mm-hmm. you ever show the picture to them? Mm-hmm. You know, like when they was right, alive. Right, right. Always waiting for people to die and go, oh, look, I got a picture with them. So what does that mean? Yeah, was your best friend? Was you, you know what I'm saying? You, are you just telling, are you clout chasing it? Saying, but oh, you God. can almost know those people, even if without them putting anything on social media. I used to always wonder how people can get certain pictures, like something happened on the road. I'm driving down the road and I see something happen. You know how much, what should I say? How much it takes out of me to grab my phone. I literally have to stop to get something. You see something crazy. But you see those videos online all the time. And I'm like, how do they get that? Like in that instant. Because when you're driving or when you, you know, how do you get it? Unless you just have your phone and record all all the time trying to look lie. for something. People say I do that too. I, they say, you always recording. I, you know what? It's this, this, I never. This phone, I don't know. You know, this little gadget. I see stuff all the time gotten. crazy, but. I, by the time I take up my phone, it's already, psh, I'm already gone. So it don't make no sense. Well, you know, I just it's like this. It's like it's like I ain't gonna lie. It's like it's like if you lose your phone, you lost your life. In today's society, yes. <laughs> it's like you lost your life. And I was just thinking, like, what did we do? You know, like um, like getting here. You sent me the the GPS. Mm-hmm. I w- I was literally thinking. What did we do before GPS? Stop at a corner. How do I get to such and such? Like, how did we get to take work? Like five rights and four lefts and. Yeah, like what? I was like, I remember the Thomas guy, but I'm thinking like, what if you could the afford map? one of those? Yeah, yeah the map. Maps yeah, like, go. Yeah, I was like, well, yeah, but I'm like, what did we really do before? Like, how did you find like where to go, what to do, how to get places? I can't remember that. I can't. I can't. I can't. People told you directions. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you got to realize he riding around in big cars. And he's <laughs> yeah, yeah, being yeah, driven around. Yeah, being driven around. He didn't have, he to, didn't drive. have to worry about that's like not, me no, and you. That's not we true. normal people. No, that's no, not no. true. I won't. But I don't remember. But I really don't remember. I don't remember before GPS. What? Do you know how much a gallon of milk costs? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. It's $3.99. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, man. Dirty, rotten scoundrels. Like, who came up with that name, and what, do you think that was the right name after all these years? Yeah, because because at that time and point, remember there's a movie called Dirty, Rotten Scoundrels? And, it was in, um, and the guy, his name is Chris, Chris Jackson. He's the one in prison right now. Chris came up with that name. He came up with it, DRS, and I, I thought it was, I it was apt. I thought because of what we were portraying at the time, we weren't dirty. We were rotten. We were scoundrels. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.